today's video, I am going to be showing you all my scenes that I made. Scenes. So, what a scene is. Where did my feather go? Oh, Y'all, I had a feather for you guys. <laughs> I found it, I found it. <laughs> okay, a scene is essentially. Very, very 
and be like, and then you're like looking up happy. <laughs> and then trust God and chill, just let go.
she drew. So they don't have to be like how I made it, you know what I mean? Everyone does something so different, and that's what made this class so interesting to me. So, and then I won't show the back because it's her name, so. Um, next is this one. So like vintage drawings and having little phrases over them. So that is like another alternative. So they say like, um, give a damn, no simmer down sluts. And then it says, men are hot dogs, dogs are, or men are not dogs, dogs are loyal. So it's kind of like taking a stab at like men and like femininity and like taking back your power. Why I'd be delighted to put my needs last again. So it's like sassy and funny and like you'll you'll notice that each artist has a different style and it's fun to like buy and collect their scenes and just like witness other people's work because every creator is so different. Say what bitch, whatever, I'll just state myself. I'll just state myself. Call y'all pretty much. So, those are examples of what other people make. Next an example of what other people make. This is a like class scene that we did. Let me take it out of the package. Is that where the is? Okay. So, this one is a collaborative class scene. We all had to make a different layout. We were each going to get two spreads, which is two sets of pages. So four pages total that we had to design. So this is called Disguise. Disguise. So that was the word that we had to go off of every single person in the class, including my teacher. So the first page is just everyone's names, which I won't show. And this one was mine. Mine was first. So we decided on this color paper for the scene to print. Oops, I just showed it. Oh, well, if y'all see, y'all, y'all see. Um, which one among us like the game? This was mine. I won't show every single page. This is like the hat shop, and it says hat shop open with like a little open sign. Neon, so this kind of communicates like the buzziness of neon. Shelf of hats, so these are actually watercolored, which I have right here. Oh, and then let me show you the last page of mine. Then on the back side of that, it says, One imposter remains, and then he's in the vent. So, this watercolor gives that very, that very much watercolor look because that's what it is. And I don't like digital art, so I thought this was a good way to kind of like approach a scene and my teachers were proud they're like I haven't seen something like that so here's like the original thing before it was a print super cool right so I just scanned this in and that was like my project here's the hat shop one so print media print media print making it is so fun it is so fun it's such a cool to meet a printmaker or be in a class of printmakers. Really recommend. And then here's the art palette one on the first page. So these just give different tones. You wouldn't necessarily have to do it in color because whenever you're printing it, it doesn't have to be. So, but that's just like what I did. Okay, so that's that. Now, um, a couple of the other ones that people did in class were this one was nice, a like post Malone kind of situation. So she drew these with like song lyrics and stuff, I think is what this is. Yeah, like she loved him and like wanted to document the lyrics and everything like that. And then her stuff is called Candy Paint Studios. Actually, I will tell you this other friend, her name is Abby Green. So if you want to check out our art, it's Abby Green Art. So I'll list all these people down below if you want to check them out. Um, at least Abby, because Abby's my friend. Um, and then there was like a little, someone wanted to do like cosmetic products for theirs. Why is my finger shaking? What's wrong with me? So there's like four different um, spreads of it. So, and then this is that same girl, Abby Green. Her style is so cute. 
movies and things there. And then I talk about here um, that I learned to walk here. So it's kind of like the text to accompany this. It's really hard to read unless you're in person or like it's a good photo of the book, you know. Seaside, Florida. And then on this blue page, it is more images from that area. So it kind of looks like a photo negative, but I really like it. You, you, I know y'all can't see, but just trust that this is a thing. <laughs> and then, ow, I'm sitting on my pants. What the heck? What the heck? And then, here's like the palm trees and a little walkway. There's that building in Seaside. And then some more photos. So you really have to be, you know, in person with this, like I said. from the beach while being there over the years. So just kind of like pretend it's a scrapbook, you know? And then more stuff, although you can't see very well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the back, I did like a little um, piece of tape, a picture of me in the ocean, and the same picture like repeated twice. And then it looks like I taped it in with a scrapbook. scene that I've ever made is this one. Channeled messages. Channeled messages. Now these ones are really cool like the colors are. I'm grabbing them all. Here's all the colors. We have a gold color, a green, a red, and a blue. things and then it's like oh this is thread 